thank you, Jesus, for giving us the access to life such that we become the children of God. For giving us a life that the devil has no stranglehold over us and that sin has no dominion over us. Therefore, we are more than conquerors over everything that the devil can bring. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Today we are going to read Ephesians chapter 5, and I'm reading verse 1. Ephesians 5, verse 1. Therefore, be imitators of God as dear children. That's all. The scripture says, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we can be called the sons of God, children of God. Now, but the sons of God is not a casual thing. I have an explanation. If they say today, this is my son, another person is contesting, he said, this is my son, and there is every form of contest. Sometimes three people are claiming one child. It happens in this world, even more than three. What is the solution? They will go for a DNA test. And whomsoever of the lot that the child's DNA is the same as that fellow is known to be the father of that child. That is paternity test. In this our generation where everything is confused, we need paternity test so many times to know who is who. Or sometimes when wheels are read of a father that has died, there will be paternity test to prove if this is a child or not of that same father. Now, when he says you are the children of God, we are talking about people who have the DNA of God. Correct. Do you have the DNA of God? Do you behave like him? Are you like him? Because if you have the DNA of another person, the intrinsic values of that person is in you. The fundamentals of life, the very important ones in that person is in you. That doesn't mean that you cannot become what you want to become. You might as well decide to become a thief. You might as well be decide to become a drug baron. But inside you, they are the fundamentals of who your father is. DNA. So when we are talking about children of God, we are talking about those who have the DNA of God. And how does the scripture define them? Those who are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God, the children of God. Those are the people who obey God continually. Why? Because they are led by the Spirit of God. Who knows how life should be lived? Do you live your life by the direction of the Holy Spirit? Then you are a child of God. There is something that I said. I said, although you have the same DNA as a person, you can decide on your own to become something else, but behave like him. Be the imitator of God. Do it like your father. In this world that we live in, we have those instances. You say, this one is not, in fact, is a madman. Oh, sorry. We never thought that that father could produce a child like this. Are you sure that is his own child? Because that child has chosen to become a madman. And that's the same thing in the spiritual realm that he said about us. This one says he's a child of God. How can this one be? Do children of God behave like this? He said, imitate God. Do it like God if you have his DNA. Let's all remember... You know that child that does well? Oh, no, this is a chip of the old block. That is usually said. This is the son of that man. He is like him. He behaves like his father. But there are also those fathers who are horrible. And their children also come up horrible. And they say, yes, oh, this is like the father. Ah, the father will scatter everything. That is why the son is like this. That's why the daughter is like this. We have those ones. If you are a child of the devil, those kind of things should be seen from you. But if you are a child of God, distinguish yourself. Let somebody see you and say, this is a child of God. In Antioch, people were passing, people were living their lives, spectators. Other people said, those ones are Christians because they behave like Christ. Imitators of Christ, imitators of God. 
Today we are all very proud to answer Christian. Even the one who just ordinarily passes by a church. Even the one that does not attend church. He will call himself Christian. Would Jesus have lived his life without going to church if he were on earth today? No, 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 I don't need to go to church. The Bible says you cannot stop going to church. That's what it says in the book of Hebrews. It said do not fail to fellowship one with another. No, no, but we have all manner of excuses. Are you the imitator of God? Can somebody see your life and say, this is the life of God? Can somebody see you the way you do things and say, this is how a child of God should be? Follow him, copy him. At a point, Paul says, follow us as we follow Christ. Can somebody say, follow that person? Not to talk of, would God tell anybody to follow you? Is it possible? What kind of life do you live? Do you show the life of God in your life? Do you reflect the DNA that is in you? That is, if you are a child of God, if you are led by the Spirit of God. He said, we can become the sons of God. To those who receive him, he gave them power to become. Have you become? If you have become, show it by the life you live. Let your life reflect that DNA that is in you, the DNA of God. Your father is not a sinner. Don't be a sinner. If your father abhors sin. He cannot behold sin. Don't live with sin and in sin. Turn things around. Be an imitator of God, if indeed you carry his DNA. May the Lord help us all to reflect the fact that we are carrying the DNA of God. And for anybody who never understood, Lord, open our eyes of understanding that we have to understand who we are and live as we ought to. In Jesus' name, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.